For this lesson, you need to open the sample file Sales First Quarter 2008 from your Sample Files folder. And notice that when I'm at the top of the worksheet, it's easy to see which data is in each column. For example, I can see that the city is London, the country is the UK, the quantity is 21, the unit price 99, and the discount is 0%. But when I scroll down the worksheet, you'll see that it's now difficult to know what the data in each column relates to, because the header row has scrolled off the screen. Wouldn't it be nice to freeze that first row so that, as we scroll down the worksheet, you can still see the column headers? Well, that's exactly what Excel's Freeze Panes feature will do. To freeze the first row, I'll click the View tab on the ribbon, and in the Window group, notice there's a Freeze Panes icon. I'll click on Freeze Panes, and you can see that the center option, Freeze Top Row, is exactly what I need. So I'll click the center option, and notice that a small black line has appeared under the first row. As I scroll down the screen now, the first row stays exactly where it is. So it's quite clear what the information in each column relates to. Let's now remove that frozen first row by clicking View tab on the ribbon and in the window group Freeze Panes and notice that there's now an option to Unfreeze Panes. So I'll click Unfreeze Panes and the first column is no longer frozen. Sometimes in the same way as freezing the first row you'll want to freeze the leftmost column. At the moment, the leftmost column has the date in it, but as you scroll to the right, it's unclear which date each row of data relates to. So I'm now going to freeze the first column. To do that, I click View tab on the ribbon in the Window group Freeze Panes, and this time Freeze First Column. And when I click, you can see that a black line has appeared to the right of column A. And as I scroll to the right, you can see that the date is frozen, so I can see which date each row of data relates to. Let's unfreeze the first column now by clicking View tab on the ribbon in the Window group Freeze Panes and Unfreeze Panes. Sometimes you'll want to freeze more than one row or more than one column, and you might want to freeze both rows and columns at the same time. Let's imagine that you want to freeze not just the date column, but also the first name and last name column, so that you can always see both the date and the employee that the transaction relates to. And even though you probably wouldn't want to do this in real life, let's also imagine that you want to freeze the first two rows. To do this, I'll begin by clicking in cell D3 to make this the active cell. And the reason I click in D3 is because in a moment I'm going to freeze all of the rows above cell D3 and all of the columns to the left of cell D3. So I'll click the View tab on the ribbon and in the Window group Freeze Panes and this time I'll select the first option which is simply Freeze Panes. And you can see that the help text says Keep rows and columns visible while the rest of the worksheet scrolls based on the current selection. Well, that's just Microsoft's cryptic way of saying that all of the rows above the active cell will be frozen and all of the columns to the left of the active cell will be frozen. So I'll click Freeze Panes and you can see that that's exactly what's happened. A thin black line has appeared beneath row 2 and also to the right of column C. And if I now scroll to the right, you can see that I can always see both the date and the first and last name on the left of my screen. And if I scroll down the worksheet, I can always see the first two rows on the worksheet. Well, I'll now remove the freeze panes again by clicking View tab on the ribbon, Window group, Freeze panes and Unfreeze panes. There's no need to save this workbook because we haven't changed anything. So I'll close the workbook and you've now completed 
Lesson 318. Freeze Columns and Rows.